Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy CJ Robinson Jr. Welcome back with another video. On today's show, I'm going to show y'all a little clip on Kwame Brown clowning Hassan Kimball. Epic meltdown. Hassan Kimball, he did a live stream recently last night. He had it blocked, so I couldn't even fucking see it. So, let's get down to it, see what they got to say about what this fool this nigga said on that for and did a lie. Because I heard Mr. Rock a nigga snack box <laughs> took the video down. But boy, you had a long night, fella. <laughs> Yo, I was watching so that like what? Oh, it's after two minutes. What in the hope? Watching. I'm watching a train wreck. Somebody said I'm a bully. How am I a bully because someone go on the internet and let me see them? These are my eyes. I can't help what I see. How am I bully? You bully the by taking this goddamn phone with that friend. You know, whoever letting Jack still have a phone bully it. Bitch don't need a phone either. These are emotional, effeminate, don't know what manhood is, niggas. Boy, they exposing you yeah. See all that rock a nigga snack box and all that tough ass hanging in roots. If you notice when a man say, okay, what you want to do? Is, is that what you really want to do? Because I never offered nobody anything. That's what you really want to do. They bring that ass. You notice when a real man say that, all these niggas that used to be in a group. Guys, this is a recap of what Kwame Brown uh, heard and seen this cool ass nigga right here, Hassan Kimball. Talk about. Rock a nigga stop, stop, turn TV off. You notice they ain't used to dealing with no men. Now, I don't hide it. I know the words that come out of my mouth have consequences. So I try to choose my words very carefully. And any words that I say I stand on. Ain't that better? Patricia O'Neill, R.I.P. See, a lot of you niggas ain't used to standing on nothing. Used to hiding in groups, doing anything for clout, whatever this new word is, doing anything for money. This man on video saying, if it's a, when I was in the hood and it was a drug dealer up the street making more money than me, we robbed that nigga. We shot that nigga. Interesting. Interesting. Then you go on in the video, you inviting men to give you fellatio. You said the girls was tripping. How are the girls tripping when you married? And then we see the little green bottle in your hand. Now we knew what was up. Boy, goddamn boy. Goddamn. Ain't got to be something more than that goddamn green bottle. I've never seen somebody act like you, sir. 44. So you said you don't know what a man is? You're trying to be a man? 44 years old, you trying to be a man. You can't raise a man. He's already grown. What you gonna do? So technically, what Kwame is saying is Hassan Kimball just portrayed himself as being a fucking kid. More likely, been more. He he's he's a kid in his head, or a teenager. Hassan Kimball is he he's a frog, man. And uh, this man, this this type of person on the YouTube platform gets all. I mean, people still give most people not all. Most people are giving this troll ass nigga respect, calling him the goat and shit. This nigga ain't no goat. Yeah, he look like a damn goat, though. All right, um, I'm going to play a little more of this clip. Let y'all finish watching, and then I'm going to play the damn day. I fully get my opinions on this nigga's live stream from last night, if Kwame mentioned anything about it in this video clip. This is played by another YouTuber, by the way, so shout out to him for putting it on Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Let's go. You wonder why he act like a boy. The bitch ass nigga always hiding in groups. 
bring your ass behind your fucking cell. And not to show you what manhood is. Manhood is you watch your goddamn mouth and you think before you speak and you know. You don't think, you know. So you don't know that because you hide in so many groups. You can say any old bitch ass thing out your mouth because you got, probably got 30 niggas with you. Yeah, I seen niggas like you or something. I seen a nigga. I seen a dude come to Atlanta. Hold on, let me get my hookah going. Hold on, give me a little break. Time out. I had to deal with that in there. Damn, that's why they do this at the hookah bar before they bring it to you. You gotta pull this motherfucker hard. Shit. Hold on, I don't wanna sign this to see this shit. Well, you were talking last night. I don't want you to see this shit, nigga. <laughs> You about to make me stop smoking hookah all together, nigga. I ain't gonna eat no apples. I cut up apples and shit, and I left them in the goddamn kitchen. See? My goddamn daughter, boy. Lord, him, boy. I done got my apples and oranges nice and ready. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm hungry to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I left the motherfucker on the kitchen counter. Shit. I was gonna make me some coffee, but I'm out. For all the shit I had to buy to show how stupid your dumb ass was. <laughs> all the goddamn shit I had to go get to show how silly you look. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, Wow. All I got to say is, wow, man. I mean, this is why I respect Kwame Brown so much, man, because he tells he tells it like it is. He speaks the truth. He does not lie when it comes to people calling him out first. When a person calls you out first, of course you're going to take the shots back at him. You're going you're gonna to throw the shots back at him. Most people just take the shots and let it go. Which would be more courtesy and and courageous, if you ask me, because I say courageous because you know you, you know people some people that knows you on this platform is gonna be like, man, you just gonna let that dude talk talk about you like that, man? You know what I'm saying? Talk about your fam or wh- whoever, the, whatever the case may be. But Kwame Brown keeps it trill, man, and I'm the same way. If somebody call me out, for example, I'm gonna call them back out, but I'm gonna do it in a more toned manner, like Kwame Brown. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to Kwame Brown. Y'all support this man. Support Forgotten Kings TV as well. Uh, big shout out to my real supporters, man. Um, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. And I will definitely do a live stream uh, on this matter as well. I'll try to dig some more deep down into uh, what Hassan Campbell was stating on his live stream last night all right guys remember knowledge is power cj out